Okay. So with the Queen of Swords, I feel like now, Taurus, I feel like you are you're at a stage in your life where you're just like cutting all the bullshit out. Okay. It's like I feel like you're very being very, very blunt. And you're just like, you know what, let me see what you got. But you're on guard. You already feel like it's going to be some bullshit. So you're just like, yeah, I hear what you're saying, but you're on guard because you just you're not really giving someone the full opportunity, especially when it comes to new people to really, really prove something to you. You already have your guard up because, um, number one, there's some inner conflict that you have from the past or with someone in particular. Um, so for some of you that are still dealing with someone, you're wanting to cut them off because they're causing a lot of havoc. There's a lot of fighting between the two of you. Okay. So again, for some of you, you're not allowing anyone new to come in because mentally, internally, there's this conflict that shit just doesn't work out. So because it never seems to work out, like, I don't even want to go there. I don't even want to participate in that. Yeah, I'm going to like kind of let you explain yourself, but I'm already on guard that this is going to be some bull. Okay, this is what I'm saying. Now, also with the four of wands, I feel like there was a falling out. Someone that um, you cut off or someone that possibly cut you off. I feel like you had to cut a situation out or someone may have cut you off okay there was a lot of fighting there was a lot of arguments here and at one point in time there was some type of happiness between the two of you so this is for some of you there was some type of happiness but then you know that arguing and and all of the things that were just very very challenging um you know you just had to you you had to cut you had to cut that out for some of you you're looking to cut the bull out because you ultimately want to get to this level of freedom or union. So it's like some of you, it's like, you know what? I really don't want to get into anything new because it's always some bull, you know, and I just want to be free. For some of you, it's like, you know what? I really, really want to just stop the fighting and get to the point where I can be with this person or be with someone. We'll go ahead and clarify, but let's go ahead and look a little deeper. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So some of you, this was internal. Um, it was an internal battle that you had pertaining to a person that you wanted to be with. Um, they either cut you off or you knew you had to cut them off because, um, you know, you needed some mental clarity about the situation. Um, you or this person kept coming forward to try to get some clarity. Um, but it just, it just, it never became very clear. It just, it was like, you know, you kept trying to explain your side or get some clarity or move towards them. And this person was just really combative, very dramatic. Um, and it was just like, you know, I have to go my separate way, um, and be free from this. Yeah. And with the King of Cups, I get the feeling like you really didn't want this to be this way. You really did want to be, you know, in union with this person. You wanted to have, you know, I get the sense that you really were the romantic person or you really wanted to experience some romance with them and be able to openly express this, you know, to them and with them. Um, but ultimately, it's just been pure hell. This is what I'm seeing. Things haven't been clear. I feel like you're not even aware of what the issue really is. Is it you? Is it them? And I, and I think this is why this oblivion card has come up. Okay. Wow. And in clarification with the queen of cups. Okay. You're focused on this. You know, you might even still have some compassion about the person or, you know, want to show some compassion um, towards someone eventually. But this four of wands is coming out again. I feel like you're really focused, like you really do want to be with someone or be with a particular person. 
it but it, it's just been so difficult and quite honestly i feel like some of you've just been jaded based on something that has happened with this person or from your past let's look at outside energy and i think too um for some of you you're hanging on to this person or the idea of being in union um and there's it, you're oblivious it's like you're walking towards the darkness um and you might be entertaining them in a certain way um and you're not recognizing that behind you are other opportunities okay there's other things that you could be picking from in another sense you can look at this as you know you might be sugarcoating some shit like you got some flowers taped to your back because this is not good this doesn't feel right it doesn't look right it doesn't smell right and so now you've gotten some flowers you know around you it's like you're picking these flowers to you know and it's like you know what but maybe maybe it could work out you know it's like you are keeping this um thought of this person in, in like a perfumed sense when it stank okay just quite honestly this is a stanky situation okay so best case scenario what needs to happen okay with the three of cups all right you need you need to celebrate okay you need to really get out and be with um friends and family members um i feel like it's you you need to be mingling with other people okay some of you might be so focused because remember i i said the queen of cups so you're so focused on this situation with this person you need to go out you need to have some fun you need to be out with people that care about you love you um can support you during this time um and then with the will of fortune like something definitely needs to change here okay um you, you know something needs to change and you no longer need to wait okay you're waiting they're waiting i mean this is showing up twice here they're still holding on and waiting for you you're still like holding on and waiting to see what's going to happen you know is this going to go how is this going to go this is what i'm hearing you know you need to change that cycle so that you're not waiting anymore to see what's going to happen i get the sense that you just need to get on with your life Ooh, okay absolutely all right so with the hangman all right this is this has a dual meaning right now because for some of you this is waiting you know you've been waiting for a very long time you know just waiting um and you really need to come up with a new plan a plan of action to to, to cycle out of this for some of you this hangman um, represents a new perspective okay um you need to have a new perspective come up with with a plan to move on with your life um something that is you know more prosperous something that will bring you you know more prosperity in your life because i feel like this situation has set you back um for some of you because you're so focused on the drama with this person um has even um cost you a lot of money in some way or cost you to lose a lot of money and a lot of tangible things all right but with the page of wands here you like it's it's time to really um get some good news here and i feel like um there is some good news there is some prosperity once you look at this from a new perspective and you you make an, a new plan and i feel like this is what you're going to do you're going to make a plan to focus on you know your prosperity you you know moving on to the next phase and i do see that there is some you know something new this is a new journey you know um this is a journey that you're going to go on alone um and for yourself and i think this is what needs to happen go to the sea <laughs> i'm going to go ahead and read this message from the little handy dandy wisdom of the oracle book i just love this deck 
I swear it's just it, I it it's so perfect in the sense of it's like point blank period like this is what's going on this is what needs to happen um let's see all right so let's go ahead and get right into it it says there are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself your combined goals and desires to steer the ship can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity in its own energy now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads okay now this mutual journey you need to stop obsessing about okay we already see where this is going okay this is and i'm just going to be quite honest with you this is where it's headed this is where it's been taurus drama conflict other people all up in your business other people possibly in your relationship you know in some way shape or form past lovers situations where people are dealing with other people on the low you know there's been a lot of conflict so the natural flow of this has not been a flow it's been rough and rocky it's been drama okay and so you need to let that be and you need to let it flow okay because when you allow yourself to flow with life's events okay effortlessly and you learn that when people show you who they are believe them when you see that something just is not working it's time to get into the boat and go to the sea because there are other fish in it okay so for this particular meaning, I think that for some of you, you're trying to hold on to this control. It's like, you know, you're, you're trying to have your guard up, but it's like you still kind of let them in and then you kind of cut them off and then they're holding on to you in some way and then they kind of bring you back in or you bring them back in. I just feel like it's just like a vicious cycle okay you come in you try to get some you know mental clarity they fight you they don't give you the mental clarity you need but they still kind of hang around like that's just dysfunction okay um and i just feel like this is not a natural flow and you know it you know this is like you hanging on them hanging on um it's just it, it's time it's time to make a plan to be prosperous and, and to move forward. Um, something's got to change. Something has definitely got to change. And I didn't want to even bring up, um, you know, this this three of cups because, you know, in one sense, it's it is about celebrating. Um, but I am now getting this additional message from spirit that's saying there is some of you okay that this person has been dealing with someone else or you have been in a third party situation okay this person and someone else um and that needs to change you know that needs to change for whoever that is um it's not for the collective i think that you know who you are <laughs> um someone has been you or the other person has been dealing with someone else. And so this is what's also caused a lot of this conflict, okay? So um, if that's the case for you, somebody needs to let somebody go um, because you can't, move, you can't move forward. You have to move on, you know? Um, they have to move on, whatever the case is. But going back to the collective, um, you, you, need to, you need to move towards some, some calmer waters um, for some of you, this is pertaining to a marriage. Um, there is a lot of conflict within a marriage and you're looking to cut this out. Some of you are um, contemplating, you know, getting some type of divorce is what I'm seeing here. Um, but this person won't let you go. This person is still holding on, right? 
this person doesn't want to see you move on. They they don't understand that this is dysfunction. They're holding on to this and you for some of you because these are additional messages that are now flowing in for some of you you've already emotionally detached from this person but they're here and they're wanting to stay and they don't care they don't care that there's drama they don't care that there's conflict okay and quite honestly some of them may feel like okay well this person might be seeing someone on the outside with this um three of cups but this person could possibly be here for the money you know the stability the companionship there's something about this situation when this person just still will not let go and they're still waiting on something. Um, so I, I just I see that this this is just a lot of drama. OK, so let's clean this up, um, Taurus. Some things just I mean, there's so many different case scenarios that just keep coming in so many messages. Um, there is a message here for someone and and again pick up what i'm putting down that resonates um someone here is trying to cut someone off that they're married to or they're living with okay um because they're they're compassionate about someone else they're wanting to build something with someone else i feel like this is for some Taurus out there, um, but you can't do it because this other person that you're living with or you're married to is holding on. So for some of you, there is a particular person that you feel is more suited for you, but you know, you still got your, you still got your foot in the door, so to speak, um, with this other person. So who we? Um, new perspective needed, a new plan. Um, something needs to be prosperous with this new plan, okay? Um, and there needs to be some real action 